We had a uh, had a challenging game. Uh, you know, the last time, last two times we've been up there, we've gotten beat, and I think we I think we started with an edge, a mental edge in the game, and uh, got down the field um, twice early and uh, uh, got points. And um, I thought we played in spots as good as we played all year. I, I, I don't. I think we still, uh, uh, even though we were in control of the game, I don't mean to say we weren't, but I think we still had some inconsistencies in the second half on offense that put the defense out there. Uh, still had a big variation and too big a variation in, um, in uh, plays and offensive and defensive plays. The best thing about this game, I thought, though, was the was the kicking game. Um, we our average starting field position was a 47 yard line. Uh, their average was like the 23, 22. We played on a short field; they played on a long field, and uh, that's something that takes a lot, a lot of work and a lot of effort to. Uh, to do, but we, I thought we did some things better than we've done them. I, I don't think we've ever had a solid kicking game with the, the exception of one blocked extra point um, as we had in that game. So I know that, um, and these guys up here all made plays. Um, Denzel, Denzel's 6'7", he don't look like he's sitting down. 6'7", you are 6'7". Six 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 seven. Six 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 seven. He's a good goal line target. We we called the Al Muskowitz play. Fake the run, throw it to the tight end on the goal line. Um, and um, but Denzel's a is a is a talent uh, that's playing a position that he had never played before, and it's a development. He's developing there. Um, I guess the defense must not have played since we got three offensive guys up here. They're all uh, in class. What's that? They're all in class. <laughs> They're all in class. Um, John Houston is a, I guess he's our leading receiver. I don't know. Are you? I don't know. I read the stats. Huh? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But John Houston has been a steady player and made a lot of big plays for us. I, I, uh, you know, they jumped off sides early in the game and, we always try to take a shot, but I thought you did a good job. You two did getting a back shoulder fade in there. Um, y'all work on that. I've never seen y'all do that before. Mm-hmm. Work on it a lot. Okay, well, good. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen the situation come up before. Most of the time, we went over the top with that thing. So um, there's a good connection going. Quarterback to receiver here. I think there's really a good connection uh, with this whole football team. Uh, we've we've we got something, but they ain't showing these stats. And I showed the players the stats yesterday. Uh, last year, 16 NCAA stat category. Last year, we were one and two in every category, but three or four. It was about as dominant a statistical position a football team. In fact, we compared them with the number one team in the country last year, and ours was actually a stronger stat position. You compare that with this year, which I don't, we're scoring points. You know, I think we're leading the league in scoring, which is a good place to be number one in. But after that, I think we have a, you know, we, we don't represent a, uh, a dominance of any kind other than I think that we have a, we got a lot of playmakers. We just, I, I think, I think uh, Denzel, if I've read this right, uh, Greg, 15th guy to score a touchdown. Um, got a lot of playmakers. Got some that hadn't scored yet that can score too. Um, and we're playing with a lot of heart. Um, what I have challenged these guys, we're fixing to play the, uh, about to play the. Uh, most talented team probably in the league in Tennessee State. Uh, they, they've lost a, a great running back uh, a week ago. But they have a 
they have a dominant position statistically in running the ball and stopping the run. And um, they get number one in the league in pass defense. Um, a lot of things that you know that set, make a statement about about a team that you and when they walk out there, you'd think they're the Dallas Cowboys because they were big and athletic. Um, but we are a team of something uh, that I like. Makes me nervous every time we go to play because we I never know what quite we're going to get. You know, a box of cherries, a box of chocolates. Uh, but uh, very proud of them. We're, we're uh, anticipating playing good and having a great crowd. The one thing I'd say, and um, you know, I saw their band was on the film at SEMO in the stands. Uh, they bring their band, they bring their people. We're a lot closer than, than Cape Girardeau. And uh, we've got to make sure that our people show up and make sure we have a home field advantage. We have played here against Tennessee State where it didn't sound much difference who had the ball. We don't need for that to be the case. So I, I'd ask people to help us have that 12th man experience and it's been great. The two games we've had weren't, wasn't as large a crowd by a considerable margin um, but I thought the students just still gave a very strong representation of the spirit of the of the crowd, and I think it affected affected our players. So, anyway, John Houston, receiver, uh, Niceville, Florida. Marquez Ivory, quarterback, four sides of Warner Robbins. Denzel Cheeks, what's that town you're from? Swainsboro, big Swainsboro, Georgia. <laughs> Florida and Georgia. Uh, so, uh, I'll let them carry part of this, you want to ask him questions. John Houston and Marquez, did, would you, because I know you, you've played the most during the course of the year to be able to, to have these numbers build. When, when Coach was talking about when they looked at the statistical setup, you know, that used to be one and two, and now it's different. And when you compare yourselves with, with where they sit nationally, and the numbers don't jive with a team that's a six and zero oh or a top three. Is it? And I think I asked you about this earlier in the year before all the numbers built. But what is that something that's gotten you to six and zero when the numbers might not equate to what six and zero's the dominance that a six and zero normally would have? Would you just both of you guys speak to that? Uh, I just really think it's team effort. I mean, obviously if we we're not up there in the stats. <coughs> It has to be something like this week we had a really great kicking game success. So we had a short field. I don't think I threw for 100 yards in the whole game. So, I mean, that has a lot to do with it too about certain stuff. Our defense is, uh, they're carrying us a lot. So they, they've been doing really good. So short field most of the time, don't have opportunity to get a lot of yards. But we, we are scoring points, so that's the most important thing. John Houston, I know you're not a stat guy, and you talked about that before. Right, I mean, look at that. I think uh, we're more worried about the win. Whatever we can do to get the win, I mean, you, you'll see in some. I mean, some teams in our conference who are leading in the uh, statistics. I mean, they have losses. I mean, we're more focused on doing whatever we can, whenever we can, to to get things done at the end. Whether it be in the fourth quarter, come back, or you know, just whatever. We can.